Natasha Handel and I'm a trainer in New York City. This is Good Moves with Well and Good. Today we'll be going through a chest and back workout utilizing a long resistance band and we'll be utilizing a push and pull movement pattern so that you're alternating both your back and your chest as we go through this sequence. And if you don't have a long band with handles attached to it, do not worry. You can use any long band or any TheraBand that you have at home, as we will be utilizing this in many different ways and not just with the handles. And this is gonna be great for anyone who really needs to perk up their posture, strengthen their core, or just strengthen their overall back muscles. Let's go. So let's start with the setup of your first move. It'll be a standing narrow row and you'll need to place the band directly underneath both feet, preferably towards the heel so that you can keep it in place without having to wiggle your feet around too much. And I like to start with my feet about hips distance apart, bend my knees slightly, push my hips back, and then cross the bands over one another for a little bit of added resistance. For this specific move, I'm gonna actually choke up on the band itself rather than the handles. That way I can get lots of tension once I pull those elbows back into my row position. We're here for 45 seconds, let's go. So again, I'm pulling my belly in as I'm also pulling my elbows back. And the idea here is to squeeze your elbows so tight that they can almost touch each other behind your spine but also remembering to keep your shoulder blades pulled back and down and driving those elbows almost towards the back of your hip sockets. Now as I pull tension on this band, the move is gonna get harder towards the end than at the finish. We've got about six more seconds here. Big pull, controlled release. We've got time for one more and you can shake it out. Our next move will actually take our band and wrap it around our wrist twice. And then from here, we'll bring it behind our back and get ready to press forward from here. So if you're feeling a little bit unstable, you can stagger your feet and ensure that your tailbone is tucked under and your abs are braced tight. From here, all we're gonna do is press your palms forward touch the thumbs together, and then bring them back to starting position. Let's go. Big exhale. So again, you're pushing the palms forward, dropping the shoulders down, and squeezing your hips and your glutes tight together. Good. Now as you press forward to avoid this becoming more of a shoulder workout, you wanna keep your elbows in line with your sternum and never let your fingertips come higher than your chest. I like to make a fist and then punch my fist out as far forward as is possible, really squeezing the pectoral muscles once I get there. Good. We've got time for one more and release. Great. So from here, we're gonna bring the band right back to our feet. And feet or hips distance apart, crossing the bands, this is called a high pull. So elbows will drive up and back simultaneously, trying to get right into those lat muscles. We'll start in three, two, and one. Drive up, drive back, squeeze at the top, and then control the release down. Again, if you don't have a band with handles on it, do not worry. You could, of course, choke up on the band itself, and you could do the exact same movement from here. Of course, making it just a little bit harder because you're utilizing a bit more resistance from this position. So the idea is not to just drive up superfluously. You wanna drive up and back, adding that squeeze at the top to make sure you're engaging the top of your back. Good, we've got five seconds. Last one. And done. Good. So this is gonna be a bit of a doozy. We're gonna bring that band around your wrist again. This time I'm only gonna loop it around once. 
We'll bring it behind your back and then we're gonna hit a push-up position. So push-ups on their own are already quite challenging. So if you know that you have a bit <clears throat> of a fun time doing push-ups without the band, then you'll wanna take this position from your knees. But if you feel pretty confident with your push-up position, then of course come back up to the toes. I'm gonna keep the band directly behind my sternum, and we're just gonna add a little bit of resistance to the top of our push-up here. All right, let's give it a go. So we're gonna press our palms flat onto the ground Big exhale at the top of our push-up and make sure that your body is in a really strong plank position so that your hips and your chest lower down to the ground simultaneously and push up simultaneously. Again, if you ever needed just a little bit of a modification for this, knees can come down, but we keep the hips and the chest lowering and lifting at the same time. Woo. Chest is working, back is working, shoulders are working. It's all working. Good, we've got time for one more. And shake it out. Cool. So, from here, we'll stay down on the mat and we'll reposition our band yet again, just to give you a quick break. So, we'll place them directly underneath our feet and extend our legs out in front of us. <clears throat> Now, this could be just enough tension for you, and if it's not, you could, of course, loop this over, make sure that it's even, and then you'll have almost double the resistance from here, okay? So, I'm gonna keep it this way because I like the added resistance. I'm gonna choke up on the band, roll my shoulder blades back, pull my belly in tight, and from here, we're mimicking that narrow row just from a different position. So, we've got a seated narrow row in three, Two, one. Elbows pull back. And again, so we're trying to touch those elbows back behind our spine, really looking for that extra squeeze once you hit the back of this movement. My hands are in a neutral grip position. And I'm exhaling every time I pull in. Good. I like to keep my chin slightly tucked as if there was a tennis ball between my chest and my chin so that I don't strain my air waves as I breathe through this motion. Good. Last one. Okay. Great job. From here, we'll stay down on the mat and we'll bring the resistance band around your wrist. I'm gonna go twice here, and now we're gonna do a traditional chest press, bringing the band right behind us, and then we're gonna lie down on top of it. So, to make this just a little bit harder, I'm gonna squeeze my hands into a fist, and then I'm gonna punch to the opposite shoulder, alternating what I like to call an X chest press. Let's go. So I pass the middle of my belly and then I reach over to the up I reach over to the opposite hip. Again, the positioning of the band and of your grip is really important here. We don't want the work to fall on the shoulders. We really want to target the chest. So keeping the band around your bra line or around your sternum is optimum. All right, we've got just a couple more seconds here. Let's get one more in. Woo! All right. So from here, we'll do a seated lat pull down. <clears throat> Keeping our butt on the mat, and you can keep your legs extended here. This resistance will be up to you. I'm gonna wrap it around my hands just once. And then from here, we're gonna reach straight up to the sky, so as one arm pulls down, the opposite arm shoots straight up. And we're just gonna mimic this alternating lat pull down, keeping our chest as high as possible and our abs super tight.
Good. So we'll push one set of knuckles up towards the sky and pull the opposite elbow back and down, creating a really long line and lots of resistance between either hand. And if this ever feels too easy, you can utilize a bit more resistance by wrapping the band a second time around your hand. And if you need a little bit less, you can just loosen up around your hands. Last one. So for the next move, we're gonna turn to a pronated position, which just means belly button down to the mat. And different from your tension push-up, this is gonna feel like a resisted push-up. So I'm actually gonna choke up as closely as I can on the band and pull the resistance into my push-up position. And from there, I'm gonna keep that resistance as I push up and down. Let's go. So not only is my chest, my back, and my abs working to lift my body weight up, but they're also working to keep the tension on this band as I go through my push-up. Again, coming down to the knees if you need to. And if this is not quite your sweet spot, you can of course come down to just one knee and then alternate two on one knee and two on the other. We've got about 10 more seconds, so I'm gonna come back up to my toes, finish strong at the top. Chest comes down to elbow height every time, abs in tight, big exhale as you push the floor away. Great job. Our last four minutes, we'll split your body into two. We'll target the left side, and then we'll target the right side, and then we'll be done. Let's set it up. I'm going to fold my band in half, and I'm going to place the loop side of that band underneath my left foot. So we've got the option to hold either the handles or choke up on the bands itself. And we're gonna make sure we start from a staggered position. So I've got a bend in my front knee and I've got an extension in the back leg. From here, you've got some choices. If you wanna just use one band, you can go with that. And if you wanna double it up, then that'll just make it a bit harder with the resistance. So we're gonna lean forward, shoot the hips back, and this is called a runner's row. You're in a runner's position from the bottom, and you're gonna row with just the right arm. Looking down at the ground, pulling that elbow in tight, and remembering to breathe throughout the entire movement. Now this is gonna put a bit of tension on that front leg, and that's okay. Just think of it as a two for, two for one movement here. Good. So we're really digging into that back, pulling with lots of power, and then releasing with control. You've got less than 15 seconds here, and then this last movement is actually going to be just body weight only. Let's go for one more, and let it go. All right, so placing the band somewhere nearby, what you're gonna do here is lie on your left hip. Give yourself a big hug with your left hand and then utilizing your right, you're gonna place it right next to that elbow and you're just gonna push yourself up in a single arm push up. Let's go. Good. So I like to keep my knees bent, my heels together and my hips soft on the ground. Big exhale as you come up and remember, you don't want your hand too high because that becomes more of a shoulder workout. Keeping it right next to your ribs or that bottom elbow would be perfect. And you wanna look for that full extension of your arm at the top and a slow controlled release on the way down. It's much harder than it looks and you're actually getting a bit of your right side obliques as well. Good, one more. Okay, we're done. Now we're just gonna repeat those two motions on the other side. So grab your band, keep it folded in half, place it directly underneath your right foot, stagger your legs out one more time, keeping a bend in the front leg and an extension through the back leg, shifting yourself forward, pushing the hips back, 
and driving your left elbow back and down. Back and up. Driving your left elbow back and up. Now I like to keep my hand just in front of my abs to remind myself to keep them braced. Exhaling through the effort, inhaling on the way out. Gorgeous. Now that right cheek and right leg might be starting to give off some heat. That's okay, because we've only got about five seconds left. Good. Why don't we go for one more? And done. Great job. We can put the band somewhere off to the side. Lie down on your right hip. Give yourself a big hug with your right hand. Bend both knees. Left hand comes right next to your ribs. And let's start that single-sided push-up on your left side. Again, you can almost feel your obliques crunching as you utilize that left hand to push your entire upper body off of the mat. Whew. I know this is a tough move, which is why we finished with it. <clears throat> we'll be here for just another 20 seconds, okay? Stay strong. Ooh, last 10. You always know which side is stronger than the other. It's definitely not my left. Last one, and you're done. And that was your chest and back workout with your resistance band. I like to do this before a long bike ride because I know I'm gonna be hunched over my handlebars for quite a long period of time. And it just reminds me to keep everything nice and tall, strong and lengthened and active. If you like this workout and would like to see more, please subscribe to Well and Good. I'm Sasha Handel and this was Good Moves.